Welcome to the Working With Your Results module. In this module, we will look at different ways that you can work with the results of a search, including ways to filter them and deliver them. Let's begin by carrying out a search using the Explore box. This will allow us to search across all of your subscription. In this example, we will type contributory negligence and seatbelt. As we can see, we have generated 403 results. Each result displays a short excerpt displaying where your search words appear in the document. This is highlighted in yellow. It advises you how many hits there are for your search words within the document. It also allows you to move through the result information by clicking on next excerpt in which your search words appear. There is a general tab with a mixture of results or five specific content type tabs defining your results into cases, journals, etc. Results from cases, journals and current awareness will have a date attached to them, which you can find in the dates column to the right of the document title. If we only wanted to look at the commentary results, we can click on the commentary tab. By clicking on the commentary tab, we now only display results from the commentary sources, such as Hordesbury's Laws of England or Abutworth's title. This now reduces our results down to 104 results. To view a document in full, click on the blue title. This is the document page. To easily get back to your result set, click on the view last search or backlinks in the top left of the page. You can narrow down your results by source name or by topic. In this example, let's narrow down our results by topic. Let's click on Transport Law. The chosen topic has now been expanded to display an alphabetical list of subtopics. You can further narrow down your topic by selecting one of the subtopics. Let's click on Road Transport. By clicking into Road Transport, we've managed to reduce our number of results to 25. You have also got the option to perform a search within results from the search box on the left hand side. Let us narrow our search using the word alcohol by typing it into the search within results box. Our result list is now only showing nine results. It can sometimes be difficult to decide which result is the most suitable to read. To help you decide, we can use the document preview function on the right hand side of the list of results. Click on the word preview to open up a new panel. This displays just the text of the document. Your search terms are highlighted in yellow. Click on the arrow at the bottom to move further down the text. If you decide you would like to read further, you can click on the Go to Full Document at the bottom of the panel. If you decide you want to look at other documents, click on Close Preview in the top right hand corner. To tag documents from your results that you would like to shortlist for printing, emailing or downloading, click on My Documents on the last column on the right of the results list for each relevant result. When you add a document to the folder, the final column will display the words added to my documents. Clicking on the last two words, my documents, will take you to the view folder. As you add documents, the number next to the my documents link at the top of the screen will increase. To begin a new search from your results page, or perhaps edit your search forms, you can enter search words into the search bar near the top left hand corner of the screen. The search bar shows the last search words you used, allowing you to easily alter your previous search. To start an entirely new search, delete the words and type new search words, then click search. For example, let's type in pepper versus heart, then click search. Consider using connectors to improve your search. For an explanation on using connectors, see the looking for documents module. This concludes the Working With Your Results module.